SCM, the name, oh man, I tell my students, this is basically like legalized cheating, all right? When you get a test question that asks you where the origin insertion of SCM is, you shouldn't get it wrong because it's telling you exactly where it's at. So sterno means sternum. So the SCM is going to, I'm going to show it on me first, female George. Um, the SCM is going to start at the sternum, which is breastbone here, right? And it's the top of the sternum, which is known as the manubrium, but sternum. Cloido, mm, tricky, but it begins with a CL. So does clavicle, huh? So the, the la medial clavicle, right? So that's the origins. Medial clavicle and the top of the, the uh, sternum. There we go. Then it travels up. Oh, look, you can see it. There it is right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It travels up and it is going to travel. It's actually a superficial muscle. It is the most superficial muscle on your whole neck, at least the anterior lateral neck here. Fun fact. And it travels up and it goes up to sternocoidal mastoid. And the mastoid process is not the TVPs, all right, remember that, that earlobe you had? You still have it. Let's move behind it now, not below it. Let's move behind the earlobe, everybody. Everybody behind the earlobe. Good, 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 good. And this bump right here, this solid mound, that is your mastoid process. Where's George's? Here it is. All right, that right there. Oh, there's your earlobe. You don't see it. George doesn't have one, but that's your ear hole right there. So we all know we got a little earlobe there. Go behind it. That's the mastoid process. Wow, look at that big old blue swoop right there. That's the insertion for the mastoid process. It's a doozy, huh? All right. Anywho, um, another fun fact about this muscle here for the SCM is that it has a diagonal fiber direction. And 99% of the time, if you see a diagonal or an oblique fiber direction on a muscle, that means that that muscle will most likely be able to rotate. So you know rotation is going to be somewhere in that action. Sure enough, um, we're going to take the insertion and we're going to move it closer to the origin, like it was meant to be done. So let's see all the things that it can do. Well, we saw a lot of extension of the head and the neck when we looked at these muscles that were along the backside of our neck. And now things that are in the front, front begins with an F, flexion begins with an F, 99% of the time, if you see a muscle that's on the front of a joint, it will be able to flex. So we're going to see it can flex the head and the neck. Um, we're going to see a little something different happen here in a bit, but just go with me on this. All right. So it'll flex, especially this lower cervical area. It will be able to flex as it says on the note. So hang with me on that. It will be able to laterally flex or side bend. All right, to the same side. So that's my right SCM. And when I bring my ear to my shoulder on the side, you can see this shorten up. All right, that's lateral flexion. And then we said it has a rotational component. Why? Because it's got a diagonal fiber direction. Now, SCM is also a tricky muscle. And so notice that just because it's on the right side of my head and neck, that it does not do rotation to the right side. It's like upper trapezius in this. So watch what happens when I rotate my head and neck to the left. In fact, take, you know, take your, take it. It's easy to palpate these neck muscles on yourself because you got, you can palpate them. I mean, then you're just here, watch this. Done, all right? Origin insertion. Well, that was easy, all right? <laughs> so you're gonna have origin insertion and then play around. What happens when I rotate? my head to the right side all right wow this sucker comes my mastery process comes way away from the origin uh-huh you want to know why because that's not its action it stretches it but that's not its action watch mm -hmm. i can feel it stretch 
Now watch this. I'm going to rotate to the left. Oh man, you can see, look at that, that mastoid process coming closer to the, the um, sternum and the clavicle on that lateral, that lateral, sorry, medial clavicle. You can see those two attachments come closer together. Why? Because that is showing, it's illustrating as best as we can with something that really can't contract a, um, a, a concentric contraction, bringing the two attachments closer together. Now take your rubber band, your resistance tubing. Okay, just again, I, I need you to feel this because I'm working with another client online. He's a student in Germany, chronic neck issues. He's actually a kinesiology major. We're working, he's getting, you know, he's had years of chronic neck, neck and upper back tension. And he was getting better after a few sessions. And then he's like, oh, Dr. Osar, you know, he's in a kinesiology program, as I mentioned. My, 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 my professor had me do planks for like 10 minutes and then we did bird you know bird dogs and, and bridges for, for hip bridges for 10 for, for, for 10 sets of 10. And he's like my neck is so uncomfortable and I'm like why on earth did they have you do that? I'm like oh they're using it as assessment. I'm like that's a pretty crappy set of assessments but <laughs> but anyway we got him back to feeling good. But he said one of the things that bothers him and this is many of your clients as well is he has to walk a mile you know he's a student he's, he's on campus he's got to walk a mile to get his groceries and when he by the time he's done carrying the groceries back he's like oh my neck and upper back feel really fatigued and, and tight so i want you to, to grab your rubber band put it underneath your feet so i got my rubber band here but make it tight so it, it so you have to like strain a little bit to to hold it okay or you have to work a little bit not strain but work a little bit okay now before you get it tense what I want you to do is chest up, squeeze down and back. Now grab your band, make it tight, make, make it a little challenging. Now be in this position and now try to bend your neck. It's even more limited. Now think about that when your clients are doing carry patterns or deadlift patterns or shrugs, which, which we'll do here in a minute. And think about how many clients are actually getting their neck jacked up when they're in the gym. Grab your band again. Grab your resistance band. Step on it to where you have a little bit of resistance on it or a good amount of resistance. Now, I want you to do this with me, okay? So what I want you to do is stand on it. And if you only have one strap, one side, that's fine too. You can always just use one hand. I want you to feel as if you're getting along, as if you're being pulled up from the backside of your head and neck. Rib, rib cage does not come this way. Rib cage goes up this way, like a vertical decompression of your rib cage. The rib cage follows the head and neck, which is why we start with the head and neck. Now, hinge down, grab your band, maintain that alignment. Give, it, give yourself a good enough resistance. Now come up again. So now when you look at yourself on the screen, your shoulders should be relatively level. Recheck your rotation of your head and neck. Even with a, a good amount of resistance, I can still turn my head. I can still side bend, even though it's a little bit tighter than side bending, I can still maintain this. That would be the same position you would do your hinge pattern in, your deadlifts. If you were doing carries, this is the same position you wanna be in when you do your carries. Your arms may be a little bit closer to your body, but you see the level shoulder position. The shoulders should never come down here. Because now let your shoulders, let that band pull your shoulders down. Now try to side bend like we did earlier. Like that feels awful. I can't turn, can't side bend. Now put them back up where they belong. Get that space, create that length. And now rotate, much better. Now side bend, much better.